Bees actually have really interesting flight mechanisms. Um, most people, when they think about flight, they think of a very direct kind of flight where there's a muscle that pulls on the wings to make them be able to flap their wings. Um, in insects, there's only two orders that really do that, and they're very primitive. One of them is dragonflies and one of them is mayflies. However, most other insects actually have something that's called indirect flight. And what this actually means is that they conserve energy by being able to use other muscles inside their body, and they actually flex parts of their bodies. So the way this works is they have their thorax, and they have their wings, and their wings are attached to the outsides of their bodies. But inside of them, they have different sets of muscles. They have some that run from top to bottom and some that run parallel through there. And what they do is they press their body this way or this way to move those muscles. And by doing that, that actually allows them to get both the lifting motion, but also to be able to angle their wings at different angles to get different types of speeds or if they need to change their movement very quickly. It also allows them to create a general pattern that creates a vortex underneath the wings that lifts them up as they fly.